Hey there, we're back, and now we're going to do 3-3. Three, three. And this is one of the f most fiddly things to do with Excel, and yet the textbook gives no instructions. <laughs> so this might take us a couple parts. Let's see if we can get through it. So the first thing I want to notice is I'm doing 3-3 three, three, number 5, and there's no CD icon, which means I'm going to have to type in this table myself. So that's OK. I'm going to type it. Frequency. Now 61 to 64 and so on. All right, I'm going to pause it because you don't have to watch me type all this. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. It's like magic, I know. All right, what a mess we got going on here. All right, first of all, these are text as far as Excel is concerned. That's why it's over on the left. That means it, it thinks these are text. And then this, it knows is a number. What a disaster. And what's more, this is no good. I can't work with it like it is. So I'm going to have to click on column B and I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose insert. And I'm going to add, actually let me maximize this. We don't need to see the book anymore. I'm going to add class midpoints. Now midpoints in this problem are not going to be easy to find. The first one is going to be 61 plus 65, not 64, because remember that's 64.9999999. So you got to go to 65, close your parentheses, and divide by 2. Then you do it again for the next one. S parentheses 65 plus 68, close parentheses, divide by 2. Then equals 68 plus 70, close parentheses, divide by 2. This one's just 70. It's kind of its own class. I know, I know it's weird, but that's the way it is. Then the next one's going to be 7 parentheses 71 plus 73 close parentheses divided by 2. Then this one is 73 plus 77 close parentheses divided by 2. Now the last one's a little weird. But realize that this class is 80, and that's really 80.9999. So the next class would have started at 81, even though we don't have it. So that means for this one, I'm going to have to do 77 plus 81, close my parentheses, divide by 2. Whew. All right, there are my midpoints. What a disaster. I'm going to make this bold, so that way it makes it a little easier to follow. There we go. And again, I'm just using that double arrow trick. Put the, put the cursor between the lines and double click, and it makes all the columns as wide as we need. All right, now we found the midpoints. Great. We've got the frequencies typed in. Wonderful. Now I'm going to need the midpoints times the frequency. That's the column I'm going to need. So you type equals, and I'm going to have B2 times C2. Enter. There we go. Now I'm going to grab the handle and drag it down. Oops, drag it down. There we go. So now I've found all the midpoints times the frequencies. The next thing I'm going to need is the sum of all these columns. Now you can type equals sum, close your parentheses, oh, excuse me, open parentheses of that column, close parentheses, enter. If you do it this way, make sure you do something like bold and type sum. That way you can keep straight that it's not the same thing. The other way to do it is, don't forget on the home ribbon, over here on the right, there's a little sum notation. If I just click this, it'll automatically sum up the column. And it's saying, is that what you want, D2 to D8? It is, so I press Enter. And again, this is in my sum region. I'm going to make that a funky color, that way I can tell the difference. Now my mean, the mean is equal to the sum of this column divided by the sum of the frequencies. Enter. There it is. Let me make it bold and let me make it bright yellow so we can't miss it. There it is. It ain't pretty, but that's the mean. All right, we've done the mean. That's the first part. Next, we'll head to standard deviation and variance.